All right, pal, we're going to talk about City in general at the moment and the state of affairs at the club. Um, nothing good is happening at the moment with the club. Uh, well, yeah, one thing, which we're doing well off the field, don't impact the club. But we, uh, well, it, it impacts one of the former players, which is a match for Stephen Derby. I think the community are doing really well for it. and everyone's clubbing together and it's a nice thing that they're doing. 17 grounds that they're going to get to, isn't it? So yeah. Starts at Valley Parade, ends at Anfield. Yeah, so 100% credit for that. Now let's talk about the club in general. Right, so first thing, we don't own us tra training ground. We don't own us actual ground. Uh, the pitch is a shit state. Yeah, which even I don't really know. I don't know what's going on with that. So, you know, they tried to say something with sprinklers, but... I don't, we paid a lot of money on drainage, didn't we, in Rajasthan five years ago? You're wondering, did we get done there? Yeah. <laughs> but I know very little about the subject to go too in depth. But it ain't good. Let's no, it ain't. It, let's just put it bluntly. It'll easily be the worst pitch in the EFL. It has to be. Not only that is right. You've got your uh, the fact that the the training pitch. So you, if they want they want to train, they can't play there because they play at a school. And if they want a PE lesson or anything, then you know. And club that, get kicked off by Mr. Fucking Johnson for you. That, that's, not, that's not hyperbole. That is a quote from Alexander. Yeah. But not obviously word for word, but yeah. <laughs> you, you can imagine Andy Cook or Richie Small trying to do a set piece and Ed of Six Form comes up to him and he probably goes, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to move, yeah. As form at moment at home is absolutely shite. Yeah. But, you know, we've conceded 10 goals in three games at uh, like Mansfield. Is it six wins at home this season? Yeah, six more. wins is, is at that, home. That might be wrong, but it it's, it's a low number. It is. Um, and they've put the season ticket prices up after that. Yeah, and, you think, know. and to anybody that thinks, oh, that means a bigger budget, it doesn't. That is literally just cover overhead, so the budget won't be any better next season. No. Getting to the budget lakes is a big issue there. Yeah, there is. I mean, 10, ten goals conceded at home. Yeah, three. three games. How, how can they say then, come and get a season ticket when we've won six games all season at home? And as football there is absolutely dire, the pitch is so bad, Lawrence. Yeah, I can't even. I've seen some bad pitches. I mean, City's pitch, it's probably not as bad as it was 10 years ago, but that was a very specific issue. Even the beast from the East didn't knock it that bad. No. Uh, I'd have to re watch some games from that 2017 18 season, but I remember it looking bad then. But this is the worst. It is. Like, it's really as well. Apparently, we shouldn't have played Liverpool under 21s. Apparently, it stretches back to that, but that's. that's I don't mind. It doesn't impact anybody else, does it? No. Um, Stockport no. game probably shouldn't have gone ahead, but then you're just talking about more games have to be delayed. It's it's a poor situation, and I don't I don't take anything out on the ground stuff. I think the ground stuff do a good job. There's obviously needs more money on it, doesn't it? Yeah. Right. First, we're going to start from top to bottom because it all needs replacing. It all needs fucking changing for me. So you got Stefan Rupp. Let's start with him. He were at the game against Mansfield. And that's the first game we've been to since Harry got home. Yeah. Context, yeah. Which is back in September 9th or 16th. Yeah. So this reverse fixture, yeah. Mm. So he's come out and saying, uh, reportedly, he wants 10 million for this club. Who is going to want to buy a club that's got no assets, with a, a, a gra no ground, no training facilities, a shit team, a shit manager, a shit CEO, and a shit fucking recruitment guy? I don't know why he's there. Well, mind you, I don't know why they're all there, to be fair. Um, he, apparently, uh, Sparks put, came out and said that he hadn't put any money in, but apparently he told the fan of the day that he's put 500k in. So which one of you is lying? Yeah, someone does. If, uh, from my understanding, I, I thought Rob just pays the bills, like the rent. I, and, he yeah. did, and he kept the lights on during Covid, which I don't want to praise him for, because that's just the best, surely that's what they should do anyway, but it, that's, that's as far as I know, that's all it is. If, the it, playing budget is us, yeah, us fans. Yeah, and if, if you want to get you know sell the club and things then you need to make this club something that is wanting to, people and investors wanting to buy what i can't understand is from what we understand is he could have made his money back with wagme and yeah. then some yeah but then he'd come out with this big thing about the brath of people deserve better i didn't want him to cook it owners, which i'm thankful for because i know probably loves in league but hard times are coming crawl this way i think everybody knows that yeah but why why is it rub coming out and saying well I didn't sell them to them, but I am looking. What well, it needs to be more clear on that. I said I wouldn't sell them, but well, well, why not? If you want to spend your money, you go. You go on about doing it for the brand for people, but yeah, well, give us something. To, we don't know what you want. To us, it just looks like you're disinterested, and I don't. I, well, no, he must be. He can't be that fuss, can he? No. I don't come to watch that often. You can't even go on with the excuse of um, it was lumbered with a football club. It's the kind of thing I'd love to hear. Like some people on top, you know, I'd love to tell some 
talk about Simon John on Talk Spot. I'd love to hear his opinion on it. Yeah. Because, you, you know, how do you get lumbered with a football club? It, it's, you try and tell somebody that's not a Bradford City fan, which I know there's a few viewers that aren't. Yeah. It's, it's hard to describe. It's a bizarre situation. And there's no communication the, either or anything. I mean, the only time I can remember somebody being not interested in the recent man, was it called at Rochdale, Stephen Dale? Yeah. Not interested. And that we, we know where this can lead. Yeah, exactly. I don't think Rupp's a bad person, though, just to clarify. I don't think he's. But the club. Apathy's going to kill it and yeah. disinterest. That's it. Rather than a willing look. You don't want to make money off because you don't own the ground. No. It's not like he's trying to get an asset like the Oysters of Blackpool. Yeah. So I don't know with Rupp. I don't know if he's to solely blame. And we just need some clarity on whatever the situation is. Yeah. Is it just to be sustainable? That isn't the right lot for us to go that's on. That's it. Here. And that's that's the next person. We're going to talk about Brian Sparks now. Now he's come out and said that he wants to be sustainable and not get relegated well, his with his target. That was his mandate, apparently, yeah. And you're wanting to sell season tickets on a statement like that? You fucking idiot. But like, like people said at the time, if that was the mandate, why did you employ Mark Hughes? And, yeah. And give him a massive two and, and splash the cash. Supposedly, I understand that the city kind of spent money that perhaps they didn't technically have. The, the money that they could afford to pay back. But we really went for it last season. So yeah. if we were just aim to be sustainable, well, obviously he can't, he's not going to say that. But, you know, you can't just change the tune now it's not worked out. It's... Uh, I don't understand. I mean, Sparks, I've wanted to give Sparks all the time. We've defended him a lot on this Yeah, channel, we have. We have. Particularly itself. Yeah, um, I have. Yeah, I have. I thought he made good manager appointments, but... But he has listened to the crowd, but, you know, like, get rid of so-and-so, get rid of so-and-so. Yeah, I, yeah I, I don't think he's got it for the pressure. For, I, I made very clear the argument we should stick with Hughes, and that was a hard one to do because the fans were against him. Yeah, But I don't think it was me. an interest to get rid. I think you've got to hold your nerve a bit. Derek Adams talked himself out of the job. That's different, but... You've just got to hold your nerve sometimes, and I think he's been too bad at that. Like, giving Matt Truman a two year deal, and you can say the argument that he was inexperienced, but it doesn't. This is a serious football club. For me, as well, honestly, the fact that, yeah, I mean, I called for you, as I said, I, I did think it was time to go, but oh, the, the you needed really to yeah. have someone ready. who you had ready before yeah. sacking him. You know, I mean, Cowley Brothers have come out and said that they didn't want the job. They're at Colchester, mm. they're nearly getting relegated. Carl Robinson come out saying that he didn't want the and job. And I've always thought he wanted this job. In the yeah. past, he's always talked about how much he kind of admires Bradford City, particularly Stuart McCall's time there. He always yeah. he was very, very praiseworthy. I think he was a child at the time. Well, the state of the club is a so. fucking joke at the moment. I mean, this slogan thing, it's a Bantam thing. It's just no, it comedy was, meme value. It's just, yeah. It's isn't a Bantam thing, losing 5 1 to Mansfield, losing yeah. 2 0 to Forest Green, isn't it? That's it. Conceding 10, ten goals in three home games, yeah. It's a Bantam thing. Yeah, exactly. And then, and and then it, when he come out and saying that we're going to do a fans forum, but it was just a bit, basically an interview with Jamie Rayner. Yeah, no. And Rayner's quite good at asking, you know, questions. I mean, that that silence from Ryan Sparks where he says, Me, you are going about mediocre, your, your league position average is 12th, that is mediocre. Yeah. Followed by the silence from Ryan Sparks for a yeah. second. That was brilliant from Jamie Rayner. Um, it, yeah, I don't like Graham was trying. I felt a bit sorry for Graham being there. Yeah, because nobody's got a problem with Graham. You know, as, as well such. we didn't we, have we, we didn't, didn't have. But, but we'll never have a problem with Graham in terms of what's going on above him. Yeah. So I didn't get adding Graham in that just to ask him a question about why does everyone come back for the corner kicks. There's no need for him to be there. You know, it's, yeah. Graham's just the man to sort the football matters. That's his remit. Yeah. Let him do that. And his job at the moment, he ain't doing right well. But we'll get yeah, on we'll to, get to Graham. We're going to talk about Stephen and Jack now. How this man is employed, I do not know. He's just employed shit after shit after shit. Um, it, it's just a complete so, joke. So when, when was Stephen Gent put in? Was he put in with Hughes? Yeah, um, uh, yeah, you, they brought him in as well for uh, Hughes. Hughes. Yeah. So, because summer 2022, <laughs> gives the man some credit, he did a very good window there, didn't he? You would argue. He made a good team that got to six. But he didn't. he's not followed it up once. Yeah. You, you can only have one. I won't say a brilliant window, I'll tell you about it. He had a good window. You, one of the better ones that I've seen. But we're, we're in a shit league. We're in yeah. a sh I mean, no disrespect, but the teams that are in this league now are a lot stronger than what they were last season, I believe. I know that you've got Leighton Orient and Stephen East pushing for play uh, for playoffs in League One. Well, they, they took they, they that, saw I mean, an opportunity and they took it, didn't they? And do you know what? Carlisle had that, didn't yeah, they? They had, a, a, the a, they had a good, good set up for League Two. And um, it was good enough to get them into League One. Well, we've we've gone on and signed some utter shit bags. Honestly, I just I don't know what I don't know what he does. Please tell me what who 
Well, somebody asked in the forum, didn't they? Ask them. We, we'll get onto the national league in a minute because yeah. I think that's where I do think that's what we need to be looking. at. Somebody actually asked the question: "Do we look at the national league?" Is it, it's a bit of a sarky question. We have like, them all over, uh, yeah. all over. Oh, of course we do. But sometimes the price is different. It's like no, there's gems. How much should we pay for Hanson? Seven point five. Yeah. Pounds and pounds. It was meant to be ten. We I think we shafted guys a bit, didn't we? With yeah. Adults. Couldn't even afford to pay ten grand for him. But there's some real talent in there, and uh, that's it. But we'll go for uh, we'll these go for, old has beens. Yeah. And people who were. Like I said to you uh, in person, I said, we spend too much time trying to grab people down to yeah. our level, like Richie Smallwood, who on his day has shown some promise, but not enough. He's, I think he'll be put down as a bit of a flop. Yeah. Uh, I'm not crit he seems a nice enough lad, and I do think he wanted to succeed, but as, I, I think he'd admit it's been a career yeah. flop for him. It's probably hurt his career big time because he was a good player in championship. That's it. But we've, we've spent too much time trying to drag people down to League Two. I think it's time you need to start looking at players who want to be at Bradford City and would love to come up. To yeah. Too. Look at what Halifax is doing. The reason I think Patterson was such a good signing is he was over here at Harrogate. Yeah. And he, no, I bet his eyes are lit up when he saw Bradford City because you don't have to move. No. Presumably you live around here and you get to play in a big crowd and presumably they're going to try and get out of the league, which Harrogate, ha Harrogate would be more than happy to be in League Two and fair play. Yeah, they would. Them. They've done brilliant since the time. No malice towards them. No. But. You know, that's what you need to be looking at, you know, and, and you've got to get the character right, that's always important, big thing Parky did. So sometimes the National League can be difficult because you want to sign somebody from, I don't know how many Gateshead get, for instance, and it might be quite hard going from Gateshead to Bradford City, even though the quality's there, but they can't deal with the crowd. You've got to get that all right, it's a tough job. Yeah. And I think, to get back to the original point of Stephen Gent, I don't, I wanted to give the, I give the guy time, but I don't think he's up to it. No, and I then, certainly not. Certainly yeah. not. I mean, even when we had the guy from Scunthorpe, Lee Turnbull, Lee Turnbull. he, he wasn't that cracking either. No, but, but I think he knew what. I think he knew lower league players. Yeah, he <laughs> so, did. He did. You know, he had he had one amazing window. The problem is we seem to have one amazing window, but they didn't, you, you're not judged on one window. It's all you judge on your last window. And yeah. The window since has been good. Graham Alexander, we'll talk about him now. Yeah. Started off quite well. So should we preference by saying we weren't fans of the opponent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can see from the prediction video at the beginning of the season, I'd said MK Dons will miss out due to Graham Alexander. Yeah. Now I think that. With Graham Alexander, we didn't want him in charge. We he won us over a little bit, but not completely. I'll, I'll always say, I'll always back a managerial appointment, as in I'll, I'll never call for a manager's head. But yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't know if you're saying, but I'll, I'll always back a manager 100 percent when he's put he's, he's there, he's manager now. But yeah, I just thought Graham was the wrong appointment. I've never. How do, been he, the how do fan. you not know your best team yet? He, he, that Mansfield game, he subbed off. Well, he didn't even start. At Brad Allardy who's been. Probably our he, player at season. Yeah, it would be, yeah. It will be when the vote, if we do one, yeah. His goal scorer, well, we scores against Mansfield, Andy Cook. Oh, he, he did score, didn't he? He's yeah. still coming on score, didn't he? Yeah, so, don't know his best team. He's tactically in it. The, why why does Re Liam Rydal still get a game? A centre-back. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, I, I think Rydal is, is a steady, OK player to have in the squad as a backup. Yeah. More than that. And I'm seeing him at centre back. What I want to know is why? How come Oyegok is deemed fit enough to start at centre back when, as you've got Matty Platt, who even 75% fit would be better at centre back? Yeah, yeah. I just got a call, so I'm not going to go yet because I'm <laughs> talking on here. Then uh, we've got the the team just ain't good enough for this league. I'm afraid. It's. Uh, I used to think it might have been, but they've shown I mean, <coughs> there might be some individual players in there that are more than capable. But there's a clear mentality weakness. If if people want to say Wickham games affected us, which I think it has, that's that's yeah, it mentality. Has. It has. You should have after Wickham, you showed the fight, the passion, and desire that you need, and then we uh, and then we've not we've just folded since. But people say, but we'll be Accrington. Well, they're going through a right rough time at the moment. They've played the kids. We've sat the manager. We will beat them three 0 But other than that. From the Wickham game, we have been absolute pants. Mm. We've been no passion, no fight, no fuck all. The only players that I would keep from this team would be Sam Walker in goal. He's done reasonably well. Gilead, who's run himself to uh, get injured. Um, yeah. He's running all the time. He's got uh, and he's done well this season as Gilead. We didn't want him at the beginning of the season. No, I didn't. I, I was very adamant. Like, don't give him a contract. He's, he's but... done well. So uh, Brad Allardy and Andy Cook, the rest. Like your Tyler Smiths and all them. See you later. What? Clark and Dowie, shite. Sorry, I know that he's uh, uh, impressed for the last few weeks, other than the, the last week. Well, this is, week. Where, this is where you can get an interesting point. How do you get rid of him? Well, Almost under contract. That's it. So that's a big worry for next season. So for next season, my um, uh, our ambition really is to stay up for me. 22nd. Yeah. 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 Um, 
And that, well, that would be in line with the CEO, wouldn't it? Yeah. So, sustainability. I, I think it's season, your season tickets, it's going to be probably 6,000, 7,000. Yeah, 000. I think six to 7,000. And your worry is, we had a top seven budget this year, top three last year. You probably want, not even, maybe you'll have top 12 still yeah. with that attendance. Yeah. And you can have, you're now asking a manager, Graham Alexander, who's never been good with a budget to produce on a budget. His two big successes in his career were Fleetwood and Salford. Yeah. And they had money in those divisions. It's, you're still going to get promoted, in fairness to him. But City isn't that. No. Uh, and he had money at Scunthorpe and did a half decent job, but they fell away, didn't why, they? Why are a club like Bradford City talking about relegation to the National League? I know you're not too big to go down on that, but our ambitions are to should be every season to be at least top seven. Yeah, that should be the bare minimum. Any manager who doesn't meet that should We've be. We've got eight, ga eight games left. We've got no not to play for, other than trying to get safe. But that that's inevitable, to be fair, because Forest Green, Sutton and Cortes are all shite. But Forest Green beat us over there, so yeah. Anyway, anything else or are we done? Are I we gonna... think that'd be it for now. I mean, there's more away games so we can go even more in depth as yeah. time goes on, I think. Yeah. We need to talk about recruitment. We'll obviously have to review our pre season predictions. Oh, yeah, that'll be fun. And how we didn't mention the EFL trophy, and that was the best part of the season. Yeah. But yeah, we'll come on. I think we've got we've got Grimsby, Walsall, and Salford where we can probably go even more in depth. And, and the picture will maybe come more clear over time. We don't know. I've yeah. no indication as hate will, but it might do as games go on. We can, totally agree we with do, everything. We can go through a list of who to keep and who to get rid. Everything you've said, mate, totally agree with. But yeah, we're going to uh, leave it there and let us know what you think anyway. See you in a bit.